Hey guys, CJ here from That Golf Couple. Today I'm going to show you guys what I would purchase on Amazon for a whole golf outfit from the shoes, skirt, pants, and shirt. And I'll show you how easy it is right now. The cool thing about Amazon wardrobe is that you can look up all the clothes that you want to purchase without the risk of having to pay for anything until you find something that you like. So for example, you could put eight things in your cart and if you only like two of those items, you only have to pay for those two items. The rest you ship back for free and it's at no risk to you guys. So this is a great option to be able to pick what you want for the golf season. But I just wanted to show you guys this whole process that I'm gonna do. And I will also review the clothes. We're gonna look up some golf skirts. know that I've told you guys in previous videos how I've gotten my pants and shorts from Dick's Sporting Goods, but I really wanted to try Adidas and some other brands just to see what the difference is in style, in functionality, even in price. But as you can tell here, there's a bunch of different prices for skirts. You don't have to go for the top of the line, 60, 70, $80 skirts. That's not necessary at all for just beginning. In terms of um, time here, I kind of saved them in my cart over here as you can see, Prime Wardrobe. Try before you buy, exclusively for Prime members. This is a really neat fe feature. So here's the skirt that I would like to try on. This is the Adidas Women's Essentials 3 stripes Skort. They come in different colors, black, gray, energy blue, and night sky. I'm gonna go for a white squirt and let's take a look at the shoes. I told you in a previous video that I have the FJ Pro SL 2020 shoes. Great waterproof shoe. I just wanna show you guys that there are other options out there. So these are more of like a sneaker type. Great prices too. I recommend getting a closed toe golf shoe. I would not recommend golf sandals. That's just not gonna be a pleasant experience on the golf course. Now it doesn't say it specifically if it is waterproof, but you can tell by the toe of the golf shoe how there's no mesh. So you know that these are going to be waterproof. Here's the back. These are non-metal spikes. It's kind of the top view and the sides. So yeah, we're gonna give those ones a shot. I'm about a, I'm a six and a half. So I added that to my cart previously. You don't need to spend uh, an arm and a leg for golf shoes. You can even, like I said, use your sneakers. It's not required to have golf shoes on a golf course. And the next item we're gonna check out are pants. I actually only own one pair of golf pants right now, currently, and I wanted to see if there's anything else out there that I might like in other brands. I'm going to try out these right here. These are Under Armour women's Lynx pants. Lynx is just another term for a golf course. I like the belt loop feature because I'm a little bit of a petite person, so if I needed to tighten up my pants, I can do that. And the last thing I'm gonna look for is a polo. They also have sleeveless ones. A lot of women wear the sleeveless polos. It's a different look. Um, I personally prefer just a regular style polo but whatever you're comfortable in. They have some Under Armour, some Callaways, a lot of different colors here. So the best part about golf is that you can choose your style. You can be as, as bright as you want, as neutral as you want, as flashy, and they're all different price ranges as well. You can also go by brands here as well, which is nice. And you can also go you know, by, by review. This is the Puma Women's Liga Sideline Polo. Looks pretty simple not too flashy, and they have it in white and black, also in my size. All right, now we'll just wait till the clothes get here and I will show you guys how everything came in and how they fit. Thank you guys for watching. Hopefully this was helpful for you. Let me know if you like it in the comments below.